All right, today we're going to work on Word. So um, if you would just click on your Word um, prompt or app, I guess, on your MacBook there, um, you should be able to double click where it says blank document, but sometimes that um, is a, it's kind of a lag So um, on your MacBook. So if you just go to File, New Document, it should kind of pop right up. And then let's go ahead and make it a little bit bigger so we can see it there. Um, we are going to first, let's go ahead and save it. So we're going to click the save button here and, um, we're going to go to our OneDrive and our computers folder. If you just, um, kind of open that. Now I know some of you guys have your own method of saving. I'm going to save it getting, oh, it's all caps, getting to know me. Okay, um, and then I'm going to click a save. Apparently my coffee's done. <laughs> All right, um, we are going to, we want to use as much room on this um, document as we can. So we're going to make those page margins smaller. So uh, first to kind of help you understand what a page margin is, if you would go to view and then check ruler, that would um, show your ruler on your page. And then, um, so basically this gray area here, this is your margin. So that is the area from the edge of the page to where your text begins. So the less, the smaller your page margins, the more room you have on your page and vice versa. So let's make those smaller today. So we're gonna go to, um, sorry, layout, margins, and choose narrow. So they're gonna move from one inch down to a half an inch. So you should watch your, if you do not have these little paragraph marks, let's turn those on first. So that way it will help you. If you go to home and then click this um, back, that's your formatting mark. Um, these are called what we call like non printables. So they won't print. Um, it just kind of helps you see uh, stuff on your document. All right. Now what we're going to do is type in the header. So uh, using the MLA style, which is the type of style we uh, require for papers, sometimes your teacher will ask you to write a line, your last name, and insert the page number in the upper uh, like right-hand header. So right now, so to get into the header, you go to Insert, Header, and we're going to choose blank. Right now, our font is what we call, our text is what we call left align. So if I go to my home ribbon, um, I see that left align means that my text, when I start typing, it's going to form a line on the left side of the paper. What that means is my text starts on the left and moves to the right. So I'm going to tell it to write a line, or I could do control R or command R on the MacBooks. Key. I just um, typed my initials, sorry, using all caps, I just typed my initials. And then when I'm done, I'm gonna go to close header and footer, and then I'm here. It's gonna show my header in gray, but it's not um, a big deal. It, it won't print that way. All right, so when I'm typing, I'm gonna make sure my caps lock is on, and I'm gonna type my name going down the page. I'm, gonna I'm going to bold, so I could either do command B, or an underline command U, um, my name, and um, I'm gonna change it to a different font. Please just don't choose a bolded font because we're gonna bold this here too. Choose the blackboard one. Oh, there it is, chalkboard. All right, now I'm gonna grow my font so that it stays on one page, but that it's a little bit bigger there. So I can keep going here. 22 looks pretty good. I'm still on one page. Um, if I grow it to like 38, then I think, or 32, um, it goes on to two. So if it if you grow it too big and it goes on to two pages, just hit and make, just hit uh, decrease font size and make it go. So it's back onto one page there. All right. Um, now for this next part, for each letter um, of our 
for the first letter of each of our names, we're going to um, italicize that letter and highlight it. So basically our initials. So I'm going to select the A in Angela and um, turn on my highlighter. And you can choose a different color if you want. And um, I'm going to italicize that. There we go. And then same thing for my M. I'm going to select my M. I'm going to italicize it. And I'm going to choose that same color of highlighter. And same thing for C. Now, if you only did your first and last name, then you would only do, I would only do the A and C. Okay. For each letter of your um, name, you're going to come up with a phrase or um, some sort of descriptive word that describes you. So, um, lots of times kids will try and put like, um, I don't know, America. Well, you are not America. Um, you maybe live in America. So you could say something like America is where I live, but um, America doesn't describe you. Um, sometimes I have the kids like type the alphabet down. So people will put like xylophone well, or zebra. You're not a zebra. Maybe zebra is my favorite animal to see at the zoo. So I know some of these letters can be tricky. Um, you can talk like Yoda if you want to. Um, you can uh, be kind of silly or funny. Maybe you have a Z in your name and you could put Z, 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 I love to sleep. So like for A, before I type, I'm going to turn off the bold and underline. Um, the highlighter does get a little tricky. We'll see if it highlights or not. So I could put like awesome. Oh, here, I'm going to uncapitalize it too. All right. So with the highlighter, I have to highlight from the E to the W and just uh, hit no color and then it would do that. Um, something else I could do here for E, I could put like, oh, I'm gonna have to go back. Now I think it's easiest to um, unbold and um, italicize before you type. Oh, now I have to go back. The highlighter kind of throws this for a loop sometimes kind of a pain. All right. Um, so like I could say brothers, I have to, if I have a B or, um, a, computer a whole phrase. If I wanted to, um, to change my font type, let me just choose something here. I'll do skill sans and then I'm going to select the K make it red and they all have to be different. So it's not just changing the font color five different times or five times. You have to change it to different colors there. So now I have three different font colors because black, you didn't change that to black. So I have three and then right now I have um, three different font types because we did change our font for our alphabet and or for our name. And then I changed it for, um, Mexican and Mexican food and KU um, there. So I've changed my font three times. So I would do that. So again, you would need to do that five times. Before this next part, we you need to insert five pictures that go along with your Word document and cite your source. Um, all right, so you're gonna choose the, press that function four key and go to Google here. And then, so I've already went ahead and typed like Jayhawks logo, okay? And then um, when I did that, it kind of popped me up a whole bunch of, you know, it says like images for Jayhawks there. So I'm gonna click on that. And um, I click on this picture from Amazon. All right, so I don't have mine full view so that I can just kind of pull these images um, or this image off to the side here. So I'm gonna click on this and drag it into my desktop here okay um now this right here is not your source so google is what we call a search engine so the only image google puts on the internet is their um logo they their search engine so when you say hey search the internet for all of things that are jayhawks logo it just looks through and finds those images or whatever information you type in that you want it to search. Amazon.com is actually the source here for my image. Um, 
So there's two different ways you could do that. You can actually click on that, but some of these are what we call um, like securely kind of blocks them. So um, if it's easiest, I can just go up here and I can um, select that and do um, Command C for copy. Um, so I'm going to go back to my Word document here and I'm going to insert that image that I just did. So I'm going to go to pictures, picture from file, and um, I'm going to go to my desktop and I see my image right there. Okay. Now when your picture comes in, it comes in like text. So this is a little different than on the PC. So if you're used to working on the PC, it's going to be different here. Um, so see this big space in between N and G? And again, it's underlined because it's reading it as text. So um, to be able to change that, you're going to, uh, so that's in front of text, you're going to click on this little text wrap button. And typically you see this up in the upper right hand corner on the PC and choose in front of text. So now it's kind of covering my text there. I'm going to make it a little bit smaller and I also want to get rid of that white outline around it or so if I um, like here if I move my picture over see how it's white so it's covering up part of fan but really the the Jayhawk isn't it's just the white part of the picture so I'm going to go to transparency well it used to be under color let's see here yeah so go to color and then go to set transparent color and it gives you this weird little cursor and then just click on the white and sometimes it doesn't work and sometimes it does so there that worked now i need to cite my source here so there's a couple different ways you can do this i've had some kids that have just drawn a big um rectangle down here in the corner and then they've just put like ku image and um then put their source but I like to, do I have two KU images? I don't know. Yeah, I don't know how I have two there, but whatever. Um, so I'm going to go to insert shapes and right here, I'm going to draw a little rectangle below it. And um, in that rectangle to make sure I have text, I'm going to click up here in this blue box now. Notice like nothing magical happens. It doesn't say like, now you can type or doesn't give me a blinking cursor or whatever. But as long as I have the text selected and I go to control command V, it will paste my link. Now the problem with that is my link comes in as blue font. So I can just go up here and change my um, text box to uh, that white with the green. Cutting off some of my text. So I made my text box bigger and or what I could have done is make my font smaller so it would fit in there. Um, again, if your link is like super long, um, again, if it starts with Google, it's not the right source um, or securely blocks it so you can't actually see the website. What I could have done is just gone to insert shapes, draw a little rectangle um, to type in it and then just cited my source this way just type amazon.com so remember you need to have five different font types five different font colors five pictures and cite your source of your picture each picture needs to be moved in front of text your um initial should be italicized and highlighted and then your page margin should have been made half an inch and you should have your initials up here when you're done, save it. Then you're going to share it with me. So you're going to go over here to share. Um, invite people and you're going to send me and then it would send me an email so that I can see your Word document. Good luck.